Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor, talking about DXYZ being delisted. Uh, let me explain uh, what actually is going on and separate the myth from the facts. Uh, a lot of uh, information flying around Reddit today, and some of it is not that useful. Uh, let me explain what I mean. So D D Destiny Tech 100, uh, we uh, took this stock to uh, a, uh, I think it was a thousand percent profit. Uh, I mentioned on my channel live, you can go and check and verify me on my videos. Take the profit. For God's sake, take the profit. Many of you did. My members did. The majority of my members did. It came back down again. And uh, since then, it hasn't gone back up to those highs, uh, which is no surprise, really. A thousand percent is great. Now then, it's no longer available on Robin Hood. And of course, everyone's out now making wild <coughs> predictions and uh, a lot of false information. So I'm going to separate the fact from the fiction right now and explain exactly what's going on. So if you look here on Robinhood, just for this is just one broker, and a few have done the same thing. Uh, DXYZ, this stock is not supported on Robinhood. So you can't buy it. Um, I don't know if you can sell it, if you already have it, probably can. If you've already bought it, you probably can sell it, but you can't buy it on Robinhood. So they're not um, listing it anymore. Now, what does this mean? Is this good or bad? Is it bad for the stock? Does it mean the stock is going to disappear? And uh, there's lots of uh, information flying around. And particularly if I want to know about um, inaccurate or false information, where do I go? I go to Stockwitz and Reddit, and before more than a second, less than a second, I find all kinds of co conflicting information. So as you can see, there was a Reddit post here. Somebody created a Reddit subreddit channel called DXYZ, which is a good idea. I encourage everyone to do that. That's great. However, Reddit, StockTwits, do attract a lot of people uh, that like to rant in the dark rooms of their bedrooms their, at their mum's house and uh, shout and scream, no verification whether they own the stock or not. You don't know who anybody is. Um, I never use um, Reddit for information. I do use it to get a tone of what's going on behind the scenes because it enables me to find out uh, who's, you know, sh the short interest, that kind of thing. It's not, veri ne not verifiable short interest, but it does show me uh, the mentality or the sentiment of some. And you need to know everything that's going on around the stock, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Stock wits is the same. So uh, just a few days ago, in fact, yesterday, uh, this was posted uh, on, on Reddit and it's doing the rounds now. And I've had a, I've had a brief look. I'm not going to uh, um, open this up and waste your time looking at the, the ranting and the raving and the, and the made up stories. But let me separate fact from fiction, right? Right now, very very important. So this was uh, it, this is what you get if you search is uh, DXYZ removed from uh, Reddit. But I strongly suggest you don't go and look around there. Let me do that for you because I'll uh, see what's going on. But you don't soak up that information. It's really not that useful. What has actually happened is this. Uh, I've, I've, I've had a I've had a little look and I've experienced this before. Um, from time to time. Uh, stocks will be removed from Robinhood and other brokerages because it doesn't uh, it, it, it doesn't uh, fulfill their um, requirements. Um, they have uh, particular fundamental requirements a stock has to reach or meet to be on their uh, platform. That is a responsible thing to do. It's not favoring one stock over another. It's not siding up with a stock or another. Again, if you go into that Reddit channel, you'll talk, you'll straight away, you'll see things about GameStop. People have never got over that because they've lost all their money to Roaring Kitty and a handful of other and they blame Robin Hood rather than themselves. It was ridiculous. But anyway, because of that, you get the same old story repeats itself. Oh, Robin Hood now are stopping you buying SpaceX and uh, it, it's uh, Vlad Tenef is taking everyone's money. Rah, rah, rah. Rubbish. What has actually happened is it hasn't fulfilled their criteria, it hasn't met their criteria, so they've removed it. I have seen this countless times um, and... Um, one particular uh, instance was a, um, a crypto coin. You may remember about a year ago, I think it was, maybe longer, there was a crypto and it's still, it's still around today. Hasn't gone anywhere. Uh, it was BSV. 
uh, the, 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 the BSV community say it's the real Bitcoin. Um, now, they're a very aggressive uh, group of people. They shout at each other a lot. Um, I went into a group once. I was invited in as a guest to uh, to speak on the subject, and all you get is ranting and shouting. And I left, and uh, the organisers said, "Look, we can't continue like this. You know, to keep shouting at people, it's ridiculous." But you get these groups. You get it. You get it around. Um, you get it around DWAC. You get it around uh, AMC. You get it around GameStop. You get it around BSV, Binky Bonk Coin. Uh, and all the rest of it. You see, Pepe, you get the idea. Get the sort of mullen. Yeah. Do you get the Do you get the pattern? Yes. It's gamblers and those just who don't care about each other spreading false information to promote the stock, to get out of it, to dump it on everybody. It's a bunch of thieves running around uh, dumping on each other. Absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, there it is. That's what you find out if you go and look deep in the dark rooms. I don't recommend you do. Leave that to me. Uh, it's my job to support you and bring you that information. But feel, feel, feel free if you wish to do so. But unless you've got a strong temperament, be careful because it will mislead you and upset you. And uh, anyway, whatever. It's not of any use what's at all. So what has actually happened? It's been removed from Robin Hood. It doesn't mean the business is going bankrupt. Uh, contradict, con, uh, contradictory to what they're saying on Reddit. It doesn't mean the company is it's a scam. That doesn't mean to say it isn't a scam. That doesn't mean to say it isn't going bankrupt. What it simply means... It's, it's like being a lawyer in court. You have to get to the facts, not add things and embellish. And two plus two equals six. Two plus two most certainly equals four and only four. So it hasn't met the criteria. So Robin Hood have removed it. There's no comment from Robin Hood. They won't comment why. And the reason why, as, as is mentioned in Reddit, oh, well, if they're not telling you. They must know something. No, the reason why Robin Hood or any brokerage or any uh, institution of any sort that has regulations, same as me, actually, I have regulations and rules on my show, don't tell you uh, the behind the scenes reasons. Why? Not because they're trying to mislead you, because they don't want you to circumvent the policy. In other words, if uh, a reason why you dropped a company was because uh, you start your ticker symbol with the letter D, for example, and we don't like you if you have the letter D before your name, uh, then if you told everybody that was your uh, your your um, your qualification for being dismissed from the brokerage, everybody would use uh, a C instead of a D. That gives you the idea. It's to circumvent the rules. So Robin Hood or any brokerage who run a professional outfit are not going to tell you why. It might have it might be nothing of any concern to you at all. That doesn't mean to say the stock isn't any good. The stock might be useless. I don't know. That's a completely separate issue. That's not why it's been taken off at Robin Hood. It's been taken off Robin Hood because it doesn't meet their criteria. And there are many occasions, as I've already explained, one, I've, I, I know several, that uh, were, were taken off Robin Hood that still exist, still doing well, still fine. Remember, there are many stocks, many crypto that do not make Robin Hood or other uh, brokerages. Not every single uh, stock makes it on to every single brokerage. The brokerage assess everyone individually. It's nothing personal. It's not to stop you making money. It's not Vlad Tenef doing something naughty. It's not the company's rubbish or going bankrupt. It simply doesn't meet the criteria at this time. For whatever reason that is, doesn't necessarily have to be bad. So there you go. That's what's happened this morning. As I have said, you should have taken your profit at a thousand percent. This wouldn't even concern you anyway. If you're one of our members, you've already done that. You're not bothered by this at all. But if you are still in the stock, the chances are you will be able to sell it anyway. Should you sell it? Well, I can also, <coughs> also confirm to you that stocks that do get taken off a brokerage, not necessarily not necessarily go down the toilet and collapse. Uh, we have seen uh, many companies, including I mentioned BSV, for example, when that was taken off uh, Robin Hood, it dipped for a few days and then continued to rise and, it, and, and it's been rising ever since. It's 
I'm not, I've not looked at beer's fee for a long time. So don't, uh, you know, quote me where it is today as where it was last month. I've no idea. All I do know is when it left Robin Hood, it dipped for a while and then continued its journey upward. Um, so it doesn't mean the stock is going down. It just means they don't cover it on this brokerage. I hope that clarifies it. Don't waste your time going in, trying to find information by looking in Reddit. Reddit does have some very, very good people who work there, who use it, and so on. I've got lots of my members that do actually have Reddit channels, support, the sh support my show. However, unlike our show, where we make it members only uh, for a reason, uh, Reddit is a place where anyone can say anything about anything with no checks whatsoever. And because of that, a lot of false information goes around. And we're not interested in that, are we? All right, click above my head for more information down below in the description. Over here and over here, more information on Destiny Tech. I want to thank uh, one of my members who brought that to my attention. It was Jay. Uh, it was Jay Long, actually, not one of my members, but thank you for bringing that to my attention, and uh, I hope that's of use to you. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.